There's only nine days of bailout money left. The Greek cabinet is in a six hour meeting. And as we watch, it's clear they think this is it. Either they defy Europe now or compromise. The decision is to offer Europe one last set of concessions, but in reality, nobody thinks it's going to work. My very strong suspicion is that uh, the powers that be, at least within the Eurogroup, have uh, made up their minds that they will give us a, a, an offer which we can't possibly sign up to. And that, uh, as a result, uh, there is going to, you know, to be bank closures on Tuesday uh, following the Euro Summit meeting. And are you ready for that? Pardon? Are you ready for that? Of course not. No, nobody's ever ready for Armageddon. But in the talks, yet again, there's a delay. Yet again, there is no deal. Nobody wants to press the button on Armageddon. Suddenly, the streets are filled with a new kind of protester. They're terrified that Syriza's defiance will get Greece kicked out of the Euro. They see the whole promise of an affluent, modern Greece just slipping away. Others think Syriza has compromised quite enough. Pensioners take to the streets as well. We're seeing protests every day. Europe just isn't budging. The threat of being forced to leave the Euro is real. Tsipras knows he just can't do this alone anymore. Και η ευθύνη αυτή μα υποχρεώνει να απαντήσουμε στο τελεσίγραφο με βάση την κυρίαρχη βούληση του ελληνικού λαού. Πριν από λίγο συγκάλεσα το Υπουργικό Συμβούλιο, στο οποίο εισηγήθηκα την διοργάνωση δημοψηφίσματο προκειμένου ο ελληνικό λαό κυρίαρχα να αποφασίσει. So next week we have a referendum next Sunday and the question is yes or no to the proposal of the creditors. Let me see. Did you ever think it would come to this? My, 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 my email is burning. I have inbox, a rain of inbox. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that if, if we fall, we'll fall with our heads up, so that's okay. Three. 
three colleagues. You have to take money out. Of yes, I have the cards. They haven't taken any money out yet. We're calm. We're leftists. <laughs> The building under attack is the European Union's headquarters in Athens. People are furious that Europe is ordering them how to vote. Tsipras fears he's losing. Nearly all the private TV channels are openly supporting the Yes campaign. Do you feel you have the support of the people? Uh, as you know very well, I don't have the supporting of the oligarchy in Greece. <laughs> I don't have the supporting of the majority of the media. But uh, uh, the supporting of the people is uh, our force, our, our big force. But not all of the people. Tens of thousands turn out in the pouring rain, calling for Tsipras to quit. This is the Yes Camp, angry, and confident they can win. Do, do you really think that in the next few days a deal is actually possible? I don't know. Because I don't know what they want. Is there no... I mean, what's the communication like now? Is this on record? This is on record, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, it depends what you think the, the opposite side is trying to do, whether they want to um, reach out to Syriza and find an honourable compromise, whether they want uh, another government to carry out these policies, or... Um, whether they'll play hardball to the end with no solution till the Greek government falls. Yes, I, I, I don't know. It's difficult to tell. With money rationed, people are struggling. This is the fifth year of austerity, but the referendum is the first time anybody's been allowed a direct vote about it. For me, eh, new liberalism or not? This is the question. Do you want this fucking shit uh, control everything in your life? Say yes. Do you want to have a chance? Because there is a chance with Ohi. is the last day here. Happy? <laughs> I hate this office. What are you going to do tonight? 
we're going to celebrate with um, thousands of people out there this uh, wild democratic party. <laughs> Alexis Tsipras has staked everything on the referendum. He knows that if he loses, the first left government in modern Europe is finished. πιο ολοκληρωμένο τώρα σαν πολίτη ότι στο χρέο στα παιδιά μου και στα γκρόνια μου το έκανα με ήσυχη τη συνείδησή μου πλέον και θα ήθελα να βοηθήσει ο Θεό και να φωτίσει τον κόσμο να πράξει το ίδιο πράγμα. allowed us to uh, return to the table uh, with immense bargaining power and a sense of uh, pride in them. How do you feel tonight? Well, I'm pinching, pinching myself. It's astonishing. How are you? Well, thank you, Kira Sifas. Congratulations. Do you understand this, how big it is? <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, I'm trying. <laughs> uh, between you and me, in the middle of this uh, struggle, I wasn't so uh, I wasn't so sure that uh, then we will 
we will manage to to convince the people to to to, to win their their fear. But this message is that uh, uh, people, if, if they believe in their force, if they believe that they have the right, they could overcome the fear. Jessica, thank you. The people have told Tsipras they want him to lead a fight. But that night, he decides to do it without Varoufakis. Is it possible 62% say no, close banks, 